Yeah, do 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 do. Yeah, welcome to the Wade Show. www.thewadeshow.com. Do 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 do. All right, folks, welcome to the program. We got a lot of stuff to go over the first half of the program. It's great. The new year is over. Stop talking about it. Okay, it's over. Stop telling me about your resolutions. Stop telling me about the bullshit. Um, get back to work. New Year. Same old shit might happen. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, wonderful cigar this morning. A new cigar. Wonderful cigar uh, I had this morning was excellent. Now, doing the show late night like we do. Uh, overnight, late night. Uh, it is getting down to almost uh, throughout the day I've been smoking it. And now it's getting down to the part that's not the greatest. I might have to have a new cigar for the show, folks. I might have to get one on one of these breaks. Uh, new microphone, new setup. Everything is great. Everything is happening. It's the Wade Show, folks. So let's get this thing started. Passing through my papers here. New liquor store opening up. Uh, an article here, folks. Oh, boy. There's a catch. As ban ends for gay male blood donors. Well, many gay and bisexual men will be eligible for donate their blood. Countless more will continue to ban solely on the basis of their sexual orientation. This is something we're watching in the news. Uh, apparently, they're banning uh, gays and lesbians and transsexuals from giving blood. Uh, the ban used to be for diseases, and now they say they're targeting them because they're gay. Uh, I'm not sure if this is something. I'm going to follow this more so as we go down the line. We're getting more news. Uh, trying to get more on that, folks. Cost is too high using phones. Uh, uh, cell phone costs are high. People are beginning to complain about it, uh, and people are not liking the fact that they have to change their cell phones. I didn't like it when I bought my new one. Uh, Star Wars is in the news. Star Wars reaching highs. Uh, no matter what they say, the franchise is still booming, even though it is under Walt Disney Corporation now. Uh, emails, people checking their emails is becoming a big security risk. It was said over the holidays that it was. It was said into the new year. Uh, we have uh, a lot of things going on that uh, has uh, populated the emails. Um, myself, I'm following this as well. I'm going through this very briefly with some of this stuff. Um, some of the stuff we have here. Uh, bus accidents. Uh, police officers running in the back of buses during the holidays. During our New Year's. New Year's DWIs, DUIs down this year a little bit. Phones are ringing. I'm not sure why they're ringing. I did not turn them on. All right. Huh. Wow, I'm shaking up these papers here a little bit, and as I am um, flipping through the pages, I'm, I'm finding a lot of stuff. Um, here's some stuff for you by state by state. Let's go to Mobile, Mobile, Alabama. Family says someone stole their poker playing inflatable Santa. Other inflatables were stolen. Uh, other things have been stolen. Uh, I don't know why you still have your inflatable Santas up. Uh, high real estate. High calorie real estate. 50 million, 37 million, New York City. Show some other things around here. Bring on the zeros. The rich like writing fat checks for co-ops. Uh, the the Powerball is is up, folks. Uh, that's coming up, or has already came up, probably by the time. If you're listening to the archives, you've heard this. 
and a lot of people are uh, focusing, as I flip through more of the paper here, focusing on the winnings and what they're going to do with the winnings and how they're going to share the winnings. A lot of ebook advertisements that I'm finding in these things. Uh, about, uh, here's some things about apps, Amazon, shopping. Uh, after the new year, there's great sales. Uh, a new app can help you with what you need to do. Uh, uh, feeling shortchanged after the holidays. Paying off your credit bills, paying off your real estate bills. A lot of stuff about money and and credit here in this paper. Um, let's go to the next paper. See, what I do is I review the paper here with news and financial stuff you want to talk about. Then maybe you can later on in the program we'll open up the lines like we normally do. Uh, the weather, cold record temps, expected. Uh, curriculum changes in the school system for uh, this year of 2016. Uh, it, it, it's record uh, highs and lows on stuff. Uh, we see uh, temperatures rising as 2016 goes into our holiday, uh, out of our holiday season. We do have some Orthodox holidays coming up. Russian Christmas, a Jewish holiday, and some other holidays. So I like to say the holidays through, um, we get up into March, in fact. But it's uh, probably uh, good to say that the holidays are over for most of us. Uh, nice story on divorce here. Different divorces and stuff. Um, kind of funny on what, what people want in their divorces. I don't know if I dare go into the topic of divorce. But this is pretty interesting on uh, people fighting over dogs. People fighting over houses, cars, furniture. We all know that one story I like to share with people, the guy that cut things in half in his house. Um, he got famous for it in court, brought in some half of the furniture, literally cut in half, brought it into the courtroom, or brought it, uh, I don't know if it would actually went in the court, but it, it was brought to her legal team uh, for her cut in half. There's other ones here of shootings. Uh, divorces that are being refused. We saw that all of uh, 2015. I discussed it a lot of times of divorces being refused. People want to leave their wives and the wives refusing to divorce. It is legal in my state of New York that if you want to propose or oppose, so to speak, you can propose a plan to say that you disagree with the divorce. It's opposing what the other person is saying uh, by saying you refuse to divorce the person. Um, it, we, we saw a lot of that in 2015, and here's some stories on it with this divorce is here that people are opposing the divorce. People refusing to hand over what they are supposed to hand over during the divorce. People walking away from uh, a lot of uh, uh, males are here in the uh, subject of this, talking about this, have just walked away and let the woman have everything. I don't think that's even f good. I think if you have something, you should fight for it. I think if somebody has something, they should be allowed to have it. Um, I think if I ever get married, folks, I'm not married. Is there anyone out there who wants to marry me? That's the big question. So if I ever got married, I think I would have stuff for myself. Um, especially like the bank accounts, especially like the car. Um, yes, I would share the car with her 
Yes, she would be on the insurance. Yes, I would use the car with her, let her drive it. Uh, but I would definitely have my own. Um, uh, not necessarily to be mean about it, but it is something that I feel that should uh, a car or vehicle, somebody should have their own. So if something was to happen. Um, here's some stuff about houses. People setting fire to their apartments and houses so the other person doesn't get anything in them, which is just stupid because your stuff goes up in flames too. And finally, divorces over fibulous, stupid things. Uh, money, uh, property, that's all in this as well. Pretty amazing what people divorce people over. Uh, it, it, pretty funny what people marry people over. I mean, people fall in love for the littlest thing and divorce for the littlest thing. Um, goes to show you that not all uh, marriages or, or plans to be together work. Um, and I think the littlest things that are listed here, like uh, not allowing one to have a car, maybe that is a big thing, but it's here. Uh, looks and styles of clothes and people, the way people act. Uh, here's something of uh, uh, not wanting the person to do things or wear things. Uh, gives a story about a woman that wore high heels and a dress all the time. Uh, he didn't like it, so he got rid of her. That that's That's pretty stupid. I feel that if you're going to divorce somebody, it should be over something that's very serious, not something little, mundane, weird things. Uh, you should divorce over something very serious. It should be uh, something fought about. You're ending your life, your love life, your family with somebody. It should be thought over. Things should be thought over. Things should be discussed. Uh, dealt with appropriately. Um, there should not be uh, dumb, uh, mundane stuff going on. Maybe it's not mundane and dumb for you guys. Maybe it's pretty serious for some people, but some of this stuff is unbelievable. I, I just don't even know why these people do this. Here's another one. Burned his house. Didn't want her to have anything in the house. Spent too much money on her. He burned everything. Now, why wasn't arson charges pressed against this person for starting a fire? Why wasn't this person arrested for his crime of unpurposely setting fire to something? That's my question in that case. Here's one. Drove, this, drove the car down a ravine, I guess, into a river. It says down the hill into a river. Because if he can't have the car, no one can. Uh, here's a female who set fire to both cars. Uh, here's a woman who got terribly upset. And uh, burnt down her half of the house that she was supposed to have. Here's one that uh, spent all the money on gambling on purposely knowing that she would lose so he would not have any money. This stuff is just stupid. I don't even think I want to read any more of this stuff. This stuff is just stupid, folks. Call in number 607-238-3816. We're going to open the lines in a little while. Maybe we could talk about this stuff. Maybe not. Maybe people will be dumb. Who knows? We don't know. Early on in the program. Uh, let's go to some more stuff here. What other stuff do we have? Heroes. Uh, uh, as we know, we have a war. But there's some people about heroes and what they're not doing for them. Uh, here's some stuff on what they're not uh, giving them. They're not happy with their uh, insurance. Nobody's happy with their insurance. Uh, uh, how people just get all upset about stuff, military benefits, uh, how it's not working. 
uh, how the military benefits are not being distributed right, how people are uh, having problems, how people are uh, being uh, uh, misinformed. Misinformed comes up a big word here. There's some opinions of people, actually, what they quoted. One person quotes here, I was misinformed about my GI Bill resulting in my uh, school loans being disrupted. Here's another person. I was promised medical. I was promised other provisions for myself after my injury upon, and then it goes into a big story here. And finally, it reads off of this person was denied everything. They're basically lied to. A lot of stories here about people being lied. I circled them. There's about 12. We're going to go over to one. I'm up to 20 stories of being lied to about military benefits. Um, I don't really like to get into the military arguments. I agree with some. I agree with this stuff that if our, our soldiers, our military personnel, that's what I'm going to call them, our military personnel, man and woman, folks, man and woman, go out there and do a job that none of us can do. Uh, I, I know I probably could not do almost se uh, almost seventy percent of the stuff they do. Um, I mean, if even if I was trained, I probably could not do it at the best of the ability that some of these people do it at. And I admit that. Um, and then they come back. And we all know about post-traumatic stress disorder. We all know about the paralyzing physical injuries these people are having. And I use the word paralyzing because I don't know anything else to call it. Um, it it's it's uh, ruining their lives. Either it's from chemicals or it's from stuff they've done or stuff they've uh, been in or something is causing them to have physical ailments physical problems, uh, severe health problems dealing with their bodies. We're not talking about the mind right now. We're talking about their bodies. And nothing's being done about it. Uh, and the stuff that is being done about it is half-assed, in my opinion. We have veterans that are in wheelchairs, veterans that can hardly walk, but yet their, their duty time, the time that they were in the military, they were a great at what they did. So something happened between the time they stopped doing what they were trained to do and they come home and now they're facing all these problems. Something is going on. And of course the government's not going to tell us. Of course, of course, of course, folks, they're not going to say anything. Um, and I don't believe that they have to say anything to be honest with you. Uh, there's some things kept hushed, hushed, or secretive, or stuff that's not uh, mentioned because of the simple fact that, and the phones are ringing again. We're getting phones in here. People are ringing into the phones. But we're getting, and that's good, because the I'm going to turn off the phone. Let's turn off the phone. Let everybody stay on hold. Let everyone stay on hold until I am ready for them. So if you're on hold, don't worry, folks. We're going to get to you. Uh, I turn it up because I need to know who's on phones when we start the program. I need to know who's calling, who's what we're doing. And the setup is all new, like I said. Anyways, let's get back to the military personnel. The issue that I have with this is, is anything there for them in the first place? Is anything there for any of them in the first place? Uh, in other words, we're told, well, the benefits are there, the money's there, the product line is there, the things that uh, are there to help them, whatever they may be, either it be money, either it be um, physical things, uh, are they really there is my question. Or are we just saying this because we're hoping it would be there and we're hoping... Uh, to help them, but yet there's really nothing there. And we're not being honest it, It's uh, with them at all. The veterans that are returning, or even in the veterans that are in 
the service, the people that are still doing the job, so to speak, are being told things that maybe they should not be told. Maybe they should be given the truth. Um, there's some people out there that if they hear the truth, they're still going to do it. They're still going to defend our country. They're still going to be there when the call comes in. So why should we lie to them in the first place? And if there's some people that are not going to be there, that don't want to do it, then let's get them out and the people that do want to do it, get them in. It's a whole big thing. I, two pages of it here. I, I've said enough about it. I don't want to get in an argument with you folks on this issue because it, it could go both ways for me. People could call in for an argument. People could um, just be really, really uh, dumb about it. But that's the way it goes. Let's see what else we have here. We don't have a lot of other stuff to discuss. I uh, read through some emails that you had. I read through some of the stuff that you have talked to me about, sent things in about, had problems with, we've fixed them, we've done them. And listen, it's a whole new year. It's a whole new show, whole new year. We've got a lot of good things going for us. So let's stop complaining about the emails. Stop sending me emails about stuff I already know that we have problems with. I already know that things are happening. Things are not going as they seem planned, as good as they are with this show, and I know that. www.thewadeshow.com uh, iVlogTV.com Some of our chat room uh, viewers are already here. Our listeners are already here in the chat room. Uh, you can write to me any of your questions and emails. Uh, so we're doing well. That's what's going on, folks. That's some of the topics we could talk about later. Some of the topics that have been on our mind. Check out our website for all that stuff. Again, www.thewaitshow.com. I'm going to have to go to a break. I'm going to have to do it. we got to at least take four breaks during the program. Four uh, breaks taken almost religiously because that's what we're asked to do. If you want to advertise or you want some information about how to grow your business, folks, we're a great opportunity for you to do that. Go up on our website, www.thewaitshow.com, and check out more information. We have a whole page on it. Folks, also, if you want to listen to us live, if you're listening to the archives or anything, or if you are tuning in on another network, iVlogTV.com. We're up there. We got a video on us. You can see me do the show. You can see what goes on in the show. Sometimes during commercial breaks, uh, uh, we do other things. I talk and stuff on the iVlog TV chat room. So you get more of the show by going to the iVlog TV chat room than you would if you just listened to us. Uh, Diversity Broadcasting and two other systems have us. Uh, again, we're going into the new year. So I got to take this break, folks. Uh, we'll be right back right after this. We're back from our break. And we got some more callers on the phone. So let's go down to them. Caller, hello. Yes, I'd like to make a comment. That's great. Make a, say you want to make a comment and don't say anything. What is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to do? What? Why did you do that? Huh? Why did you do that? That didn't make any sense to me at all. Let's go down to the phones. Hello? For the better anyway. What, what are you talking about? See, you guys aren't even finishing your sentences. You guys are not finishing your sentence. Hello? You're not finishing the sentence. Finish your sentence on the phone. All right, let's go down to another caller. Caller, hello. I want to ask you a question about my mental problem. A problem about your mental problem. Hello. I don't really understand what you're talking about. Hello. All right. I don't. I, I don't know what he's talking about his mental problem. But uh, let's go to the next caller. Hello. Um, I'm having problems right now. Okay. I. I don't know what you're talking about, your mental problem. Anyways, let's go to the next caller. Hello. Um, 
Call you. All right. This is getting nonsense. Can we please have a serious caller? Hello? Yes, may I speak with Bob, please? I'm sorry, Bob's not here. I'd like to speak to Bob, please. I don't know who this Bob is that you're asking for. You called several other times about Bob. I don't know who Bob is. I don't know who Robert is. I don't know anybody by the name of Bob or Robert. Um, I, I, maybe it's another uh, broadcaster that you're mistaking me for. I apologize, but I just don't know who that is. I don't know who it is. We're coming up to a break here in the program. When we come back, I guess I'll try more phones. 607 uh, 238-3816 is the phone number. www.thewadeshow.com is our website. We're up here on iVlogTV.com live chat. If you're listening to our archives, uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's go to a break. We're back. I read your emails, answered some comments in our iVlog TV um, chat room here. I understand that these people are senseless and unintelligent, not making fun of the people that have intelligence. I'm not making fun of you good callers that are on hold. Several of you said that I skipped through the numbers. I should go right down the line, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go right through the line. I'm not going to skip on any callers. Uh, I, I did that to get through that minuscule. I thought maybe some of you were on hold for a while and you would be talking intelligence or we would have intelligent conversations. But uh, unfortunately, I went down the line. I think there's 10, 12 at a time. And I missed a few of you. I do apologize. I sincerely apologize for that. I'm not going to do it again today. I'm going to go through number one and all the way down. If you're on hold for a while, you can hang up and call back. Obviously, I'm hanging up pretty quick on these people. So you can call back. If you do want to stay on hold, uh, I realize the advertising, the messages, the music on the on hold system that we have is a pain in the ass. I realize that. But it's the way we got to do things here. 607-238-3816 is the phone number to call. The website, www.thewadeshow.com. Please uh, friend me on Facebook. You can find links up there. Send me stories and news information and whatever you want. Get involved with our program here. Each week, we go live on iVlogTV.com. If you're listening to our archives, you can get involved. Uh, go back to the site there where you're probably listening to us right now if you are listening to the archives. There's a lot of things there. We got the archive vault up there. We got the news stories and what's happening. We have a schedule of who's coming up and being guests and interviews are going to be posted up there. Everything is going good. Everything is happening. www.thewadeshow.com. I see the phone is blinking. Let's get to callers. Caller, hello. This is Dr. Rootworth. Yes, that's another fruitcake. All right, let's try another caller. Hello. Hi, Bob. Okay. Wow, we're, we're not uh, getting by these unintelligent folks that are calling. I see that. I'm not really sure what to do about it, folks. Kind of apologize for this. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have a few more callers. Let's go to them. So here we go. Caller, hello. To you for about 30 minutes now, and I hear this verbal sparring going on between you and your listeners. I like to know what's the sense in all this. Well, it's because callers can't seem to want to have intelligence. Um, I, they call in and do goofy shit, silly shit, and the phone. They're not serious. I haven't had a serious caller until you just now called. So um, I don't understand either. Um, it's to the point where I want to give up, actually, maybe, and just do the show without the phones. But the people want to have the phones. It's a great. It's something different for them. It's something great for me to have this phone service. It's 
has improved the show greatly. So I, I guess that's the answer. What's good to sparring? That's interesting you're calling it sparring because I'm not really against anyone. But okay, maybe I am against them. Maybe I'm being harsh on them. Maybe I should let them do stupid stuff. Maybe I should let them say stupid stuff. I don't know. All right, let's here we go to the next caller. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not going anywhere. Not leaving anywhere. I'm sitting right here. Are you talking about the network? What What are you talking about? Hello? All right. They just said just can't go and hang up. All right. That's See, that's what I don't understand. If you just want to make a comment, I mean, that's 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 silly. That's That's stupid. That's just stupid what they just did. And I realize some people like me over here. They really like iVlog TV. Dot com. They like it that my show has come to this network. I'm not going to talk about the other networks. But I don't understand what you mean by just can't go. Or maybe they're talking about themselves. Maybe they themselves have some constipation and they just can't go to the bathroom. Again, people in the iVlog TV chat room laughing. Maybe somebody's constipated and they called in to tell me they can't go to the bathroom. But I'm not a doctor. Um, I, I don't know what to do about constipation. Stick your finger up your ass? I don't know. I, I don't know what to do about it. Um, I really don't. Um, so we got another one. I'm going in the order again. So now we're on number line three. Nine three, hello. Are you the, hello? Hello? You're still there, ma'am. You're still there. Hello? You're still there. Hello? Are you laughing at the fans out there? No, we're not. We're not laughing at the fans. Um, uh, person hung up. We're not laughing at the fans at all. Um, I'm not calling you guys unintelligent, and I don't mean it. And as you know, as you can hear, the phones are ringing. I turned up the ringer on the phone a little bit here. I don't think I meant to do that. But that means that the phone is ringing. That means that if it's ringing, uh, that means that uh, the phone lines are open. So 607-238-3816, www.thewadeshow.com. Let's get back to these callers here. Um, so the thing is empty right now. Here's some more. It's blinking again. Here's some more callers. But just to make sure before I get to these callers, I'm not making fun of you, folks. I, I kind of feel down about it that maybe I am making fun of you and hanging up too quick on people. But the conversations are not intelligent. These people are, i got to be quick on them. I don't have a call screener, and I don't want to have one. I want the calls to be get through. I want people to feel that they can call and talk about anything. But, oh, the cigar, oh, <coughs> Cigar, cigar smoke right up into my face. Anyways, I do have my cigar. I am finishing up the cigar that I was talking about. So I, I want you to feel okay about it. I want you to feel okay about calling in. I don't want you to feel that you can't call in or you're going to be hung up on because you're not. I mean, if you're going to, anybody can call. That's that's the point of the show. Anybody can call, the point of the number. So if you want to call up and scream into the phone, I'll just hang up on you. If you want to call in and talk about intelligent stuff, then we can talk about it. If you want to call up and have a comment or something nice to say, then you can do that too. So let's go back to the phones. Hello, caller, you're with us. Are you there? Hello? Okay, nobody's there. What's going on with my phone now? Uh, let's try this one. Hello, caller. I don't have to kick your ass, Buster. All right, that's unnecessary. You're going to have to kick my ass. <laughs> Come down to the studio. If you want, if you want like the other person... <laughs> Wow, I don't know what to say about that. If you want to come kick my ass, but uh, cut you off real quick because I don't think you're telling everybody you want to kick my ass is right. Okay, I, I vlog TV chat room here telling me that uh, they're enjoying this. Well, it's not funny, folks. Somebody just mentioned, hey, we can all kick your ass. Okay, thank you. This chat room here. You can chat in iVlogTV.com. 
in my room. There's a chat room. Some people are also saying that they've been on hold a long time and have hung up. I'm sorry for that. Please call back. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Okay, I don't know what that was all over. That was really intelligent, maybe. Um, I don't know what that was over. Let's go down to... Oh, this chair. I swear my chair is going to break. Hear it? Hear it? Oh, my Lord. All right. Let's try a few more calls, okay? Uh, before we go on a, another break. So, let's go to the next caller. Caller, hello. You're too good for this area. They just don't appreciate you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for that comment. That pleases me. Um, they said the comment and got off real quick. Thank you very much. And now I see a few people commenting in the chat room. Maybe it was you. Uh, we do have a guest feature in the chat room if you don't want to have a membership up on iVlogTV.com. Uh, for being a in the chat room, you can make a name or whatever, I guess. And uh, there is a guest feature. There is a one-time feature like where you can come in with numbers. And some people have said they appreciate the show and I'm doing a good job. So if that was one of you who just called in, thank you very much. I don't mind getting comments. I don't mind getting like comments. I, I, I'm not giving up. And these callers don't bring me down. They don't bring me down. I think it's funny, some of them. Like the one that said she'll come in and kick my ass, Buster. That's funny. Calling me Buster. That's funny. I don't know what that means. But... Uh, that's funny. That is. Uh, other times they tell me they're going to come down here and show me who's boss. That's funny, too. Um, just a note, www.thewaitshow.com. Go up there and email me. You can contact me through there. 607-2383-816. Uh, Let's take two more calls. And then we have to go on a break. I've, I've stretched this out so long that I'm going to get in trouble if I don't go on a break. So let's take two more calls and we'll go on a break. Uh, da 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 da. I'm going right in line. We're down to number five. Caller, hello. Is it true that you do make twenty cents a call? No, I don't. Twenty. Yeah, never mind. You're the one that comes in here and asks me about money. No. I don't make any money for these calls. In fact, I have to charge for these calls. I have to pay for the calls. I have to pay the service or the phone, and I did it so that viewers and listeners can get involved in the program and call in. That's why I did it. That's why I did it, folks. I did it for you guys. I did it for you to have better access to the show and call in with your comments and talk and uh, to improve the show, so to speak. And it's turned into an ass ache. But... Uh, what can I do about it? Uh, we're into a new year. We might as well look at things as uh, progression and growing, and we're going to do better this year. We're going to have things and do things, and everybody is going to be okay. All right, one more caller. One more caller. And then I'm going to have to take that break. One more caller. Caller, you're the last one before the break. Hello. I think the majority of the callers like you, and the ones that don't, those are the few ignorant ones out there. We just have to ignore them and just keep on rolling. Thank you. Thank you very much. And with that note, keep on rolling. Are you still there? Oh, they made a comment and hung up again. All right. Well, at least it was a good comment. Uh, a lot of people do that. They comment. They say good things and they hang up, or they say good things and then they go about their day. Thank you very much iVlogTV.com is where our chat is, folks. 607-238-3816 is our call-in number. www.thewadeshow.com is our website. i got to take this break. i got to take it. When we come back, we got more. We probably will be going into the second half of the program. Or what are we? Yep, the second half of the program, folks. So when we come back, we'll start the second half of the program. We'll be right back. All right. We said we're going to the second half. The second half is here. Phone lines are going to remain. I have a board full of phone lines here that are ringing or something. I don't know. Hopefully they'll be intelligent. The second half looks like a great program. 
I'll get to my emails in a little while, but I want to get all these phone calls out of the way, I guess. It's much better when I get the callers out of the way than I can do my emails the way I, I uh, wish to have planned them. <laughs> oh, the cigar again. So let's just go right into the second half of the program. The first half was wonderful. Let's see if we can get, like I said, uh, intelligence here for the program. So let's go right to the phones. Don't delay. Caller, hello. Hello. Hello, caller, you're there. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello, caller, you're there. Are you going to speak or not? Hello, this is Mr. Anchovy. Mr. Anchovy? Okay, fine. Whatever. What? What's on your mind today, sir? Triple A? I don't know what you're talking about. Triple A? Hello? Yes, hello, we can hear you. You're talking about Triple A. It's a, it's a car club or something. You can do trips and have, uh, if your car breaks down, you can have towing. Is that what we're talking about? I heard you need the AAA. I do not believe uh, I need AAA, but uh, what what are you talking about? Is there an issue with AAA? What, I don't understand what you're talking about, sir. I really don't. Oh, are you, are you angry with me? I am not angry with you. I am uh, trying to figure out what you're talking about. If you would explain to us what you mean about AAA, um, I am familiar with it. Uh, what What is the problem with the AAA? Do you have a problem? What What are you talking about? Can you explain it in better detail to us, please? Hello? Hello? All right, well, I guess he hung up. Uh, maybe he thought he was angry with us. Uh, we were not angry with him. We were trying to figure out what he was talking about. Uh, as for you folks out there, AAA is an auto club or automobile type service you can have for towing. You can have it for trips. Uh, they do travel planning and stuff. I don't know if he was complaining about it. He wanted to talk about it. He had something to say about it. Uh, I don't know. But I guess he thought we were angry with him and hung up. Uh, the board is telling me we have other callers. Let's go to the next caller. My mom, my mom has um, kidney stones right now. Okay. Don't understand what that was all about. Next caller. Hello. Oh, sorry. All right. That was stupid. Going to go right down the line. Just like we did last time. Hello. He has phone hard. All right, nothing intelligent there. Let's go down to the next caller. Hello. So, um. All right. I don't see uh, what the heck are we doing answering these phones. I'm going to make a decision if I'm going to even continue to answer the phones. I realize I should. I realize maybe we should be answering the phones. Uh. I'm going to make that decision. we got a break coming up. Let's take a little break. When we come back, we'll find out more. Uh, if our audience is uh, intelligent enough to call in and speak to us about normal stuff. We'll be right back, folks. Coming back off a break. Coming back off the break. A few people in the iVlog TV chat room. Wanting to know why the callers are so ignorant. Laughing and talking about them. All right, I can't answer that question. I don't know. You're the one, Diversity Broadcasting, I Vlog TV, um, and uh, two other networks have us live. And so on any of these networks, there could be easily some idiot who wants to call in, some dumb person, some stupid person, some mentally challenged, sick individual. Now, I don't mean mentally challenged as maybe they have a disability. I meant a sick person. Somebody that's deranged with, with weird thoughts in their head. Oh, boy, I don't understand. Board's lighting up like crazy. So let's go down to the caller. Uh, let's just pick a caller. Caller, hello. You called me and you told me that they had uh, some troubles. What, what, what troubles? What troubles? What troubles? What troubles? Sounds like you got a TV in the background or something there, buddy. Shut your TV off. Maybe it's me. What troubles are you talking about, sir? 
Hello? I Forget it. Goodbye. Troubles. You're having troubles. I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't understand what you're trying to do. I don't understand why you're having troubles. You shouldn't be having any troubles. No troubles whatsoever. Uh... I don't think this world is a troubling world for you to have troubles, to call into my show, tell me you have troubles, and then not know what kind of troubles you have. It looks like you're having a hard time communicating. It looks like you had a TV on in the background. I don't know if anybody else could hear it, but there's something else to show in the background you can hear. Uh, there's some kind of cheering going on. Folks, if you're going to call in, turn down the computer, turn down the radio, turn down Whatever appliances you have in the background that are making these noises, turn down the, the speakers to the computer. You're listening to us live, uh, calling in. Turn them down. Make sure there's no noise in the background because if there is, I'm going to cut you off because I don't understand you. All I hear is that other noise and you on top of it. I can't, I can't differentiate you from the background noise. And I realize if you think this is funny, if you think this is really funny, uh, to call in and do that, and this is your way of pranking or acting stupid or being funny, uh, it's not, okay? It's not funny. It's not a way of doing things. It's not how we do things here. It's not how we want to do things here. It's not how I want to do things here. Uh, I want to have a good broadcast. I want to have a good uh, show. So turn down this stuff. Uh, the only one that should be playing with stuff and the only one you should be hearing is myself uh, and the audience should be hearing you talking. That's it, not what's going on in the background. They're worried about what's going on in the background with me here. Like right now I'm trying to smoke a cigar. Oh, okay. That's what they want to hear. They don't want to hear you and your sports program, your news program, whatever you got going on in your house. Your kids running around. They don't need to hear that. Uh, took the call. And uh, again, I had to cut the call off because, again, it was not good enough to be on this program. I want good things on this program. I'm strict about you callers. Uh, we got a large audience. I vlog TV. Dot com. We have Diversity Broadcasting. We have some other networks. We have my website, www.thewaitshow.com. We have the YouTube channel. I want this broadcast to be presentable. I want it to be affectionate. I want it to be uh, empathetic. I want it to be full of common sense. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get at here. Smart, informative. Uh, not some stupid, crazy crap, because all I hear is your news in the background. And I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't say your name, where you're calling from. You just come on and uh, sounds like you were drunk, high, or, or having some kind of medical problem there, buddy. Uh, uh, what am I going to do? All right. I will answer the calls. I see the boards lighting up. Some people in the chat room, TV got Tom chat room, is laughing. Uh, some of them are complaining because they've been on hold a long time. And if it's you guys in the uh, live chat rooms and the people that are listening live on the other networks, this is not funny, folks. You guys should be smart enough to want to call in and discuss a topic with us, to call in and discuss something with us and not be so so uh, dumb, maybe is the word for it. I don't know. All right, let's get on this board here. I got five more callers coming in, now six. And I see we're getting up to eight, so let's go down the line here. Caller, hello. Welcome to the program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep. That would have been our friendly farter. Friendly fart noises is all they can produce. Uh, it would seem. I don't really know if they actually stick the phone up to their butt when they do that. Or if they have a fart machine, or they do it with their mouth, or putting their hand over their mouth area, and uh, proceed to make the noises of a fart. But uh, sometimes it's funny. Um, I get a good laugh sometimes from it, like I just did. Uh, I get a good laugh out of it sometimes. And uh, you hear me in the background here lighting my cigar again.
get a good laugh once in a while from it. That's about all I can do. Get a good laugh. A good laugh. But uh, let's go down to the next caller. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Keep laughing, buddy. See, I just turned down the volume that the, the people viewing and listening are going to hear. So you're just laughing in my headphones, and I'm just going to hang up on you now. Well, what what gives somebody the right to do that? Do you forget that I have a button here that makes it so the viewers and the listeners can hear you, and I can turn that vo volume down. I can press that button and hang up on you. I can press the other button so they don't hear you anymore so that you're not going to be broadcasted as an idiot to these people. Unbelievable. First we get somebody we can hardly hear because we think he was drunk or had a medical problem. And now somebody calls in to laugh, like a total moron on the phone. Uh, I, I don't understand, folks. I just don't understand. Uh, let's go down to the next caller. Caller, welcome to the program. Uh, like I've been you, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I know that voice. He's called in before. He's made uh, funny noises in the phone before. And I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm not going to put him on. I'm going to get him off the phone as quick as I can. It's not going to happen again. Um, it, it's stupid. And it's just nonsense that that guy does. Or he'll call in and ask some stupid question. Or say something stupid. Or, or act in a way that was, is, is not part of my program. So I'm going to get rid of him real quick. Uh, I recognized his voice. I recognized what he was doing. Maybe he wasn't going to yell or scream this time, but I'm not going to take the chance, okay? Not going to take the chance of him ruining the program. All right, let's go down. Oh, boy, what I say? What am I up to? Let's go to the next caller. Hello. Hello. Hello? Caller, hello? No, no one's going to do it. What the heck is this guy doing? I don't understand. What? It sounds like somebody's in a house and they have the phone on. They're not saying anything, so I'm not going to even deal with it. Uh, I'm not going to go there. not going to play this little game with them. Uh, hi, right, caller. Oh, boy, what what are we doing here? Uh, let's go down the line here. Like I said, down the line, folks. Hopefully we'll get into some intelligent conversation. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Let's see what this caller is. Hello. Uh, I've got a problem with premature ejaculation. I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear anything about sex or any stupid comments you have about it. All right? So, get rid of that one. Let's go down to the next caller. But, like, uh, I've called in and, and said some bad stuff, and I, I'd like to apologize. All of your face! I don't think I cut him off quick enough, folks. I apologize for that. He was talking very low into the phone. I could hear another TV or something. I can't stress it enough. Turn down whatever it is you have going on around you or tell people to shut up if there's people around you or whatever the case may be so that I can properly hear you without all that other background noise you got going on there. Uh, he uh, started to tell me he wanted to apologize for calling in which I knew uh, the conversation probably would go very dumb. Um, it would go very stupid you would go to the ignorant level. Why would you call into a show and apologize for saying stuff stupid? And then he said that at the end, and then I cut him off. I don't think I cut him off quick enough. I thought it was going to be an intelligent conversation, or at least somebody attempting to act like they had intelligence, and maybe have some kind of conversation with me about apologizing for their stuff. 
but it turned out to be somebody who just wanted to be stupid, and his apology meant nothing because then he said some sexual stuff, which I'm not going to repeat it, what he was talking about, for God's sake. That's disgusting. It's ignorant. He's being gay. Um, he's being uh, disgusting. Just plain disgusting. Just just disgusting. I don't have any other word. I don't have any words for it. I'm lost for words, folks. That's what I am. Is lost for words on what to call this guy. So maybe the word disgusting uh, would fit him very well. Uh, I got a few more callers here. Uh, let's go to the next caller. Hello. Hello. Hello? 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 Okay, enough with playing this hello game. Obviously, you're, you're, you're not getting it because you're screaming hello back in my phone. Unbelievable. I, I don't know how people can do this. I don't know how people can adjust to this. I don't know how people can... Uh, my ears are ringing a little bit right now because of that. Uh, let's go to... Uh, so let's go to the next caller. Hello. Okay, that's 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 totally disgusting. Totally disgusting. You're flushing the toilet in my ear. Do you realize you're flushing the toilet in my ear? Are you aware of that, sir? Or ma'am? Maybe it's a girl. Who, who said it was a guy that... Uh, does these funny calls where they flush toilets and scream in the phone. Maybe it's a girl. Maybe some girl out there. Uh, uh, the iVlog TV chat room is, is uh, hysterical right now. They are just laughing. They're making funny comments. It's not funny at all. Somebody that does what that person just did. Somebody made a comment in there. Some girl just changed her. The iVlog chat room here. Somebody just made this comment that some girl uh, changed their tampon and flushed the toilet. That's disgusting. Uh, that's, 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 I, yeah, I, I, maybe, maybe that's what they did. But that's disgusting. I don't understand why somebody would do that. Uh, first, somebody screamed hello. So bad in the phone, my headphones, my ears were ringing, and then somebody flushes the toilet. Is, is, is this a game with you people? Is this a game that you want to play of uh, tormenting me with your stupid calls? I don't know, but I just don't know what I'm going to do. Well, yes, I do know what I'm going to do. Yes, I do know what I'm going to do. My my headphones sound like I got an echo on my mic. Hello. Hello. Oh, I, I don't know what's going on. Between the screaming in my ear, the flushing of toilets, the making odd fart noises, the, the making of the, the, the noises of weirdness that you make. I don't even know how these people make these noises. My ears are ringing. So I know what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to go on a little break. We're going to take a small break. When we come back, we're going to get to the very bottom of the show. So the show's almost over for you people that don't want to stand it anymore. People have probably turned the, the dial, so to speak. Probably have left. Probably have turned me off. Probably have gone to another uh, place to watch something else or to listen to something else. So let's go to a quick break. When we turn, we'll do the bottom half of the program. Uh, it, it's getting 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 down to the nitty gritty bottom last of the barrel type deal here. www.thewadeshow.com. I vlog TV. Dot com. Uh, you can through my website. You can go to Facebook, the YouTube archives. So, folks, we'll be right back. <laughs> 